Hi, uh, welcome to my home. This is my uh, tour bus that is my home for the next two months. Please come and look inside. Got everything we need in here. I feel like we are gypsies. Oh, I didn't mean to bang that. <laughs> anyway, these are the beds. Um, this is where we sleep. Catch some shut eye. And this is the lovely back room where we make music, uh, we watch movies, we talk about deep things. Um, this is where I get the guys and I kind of act like they're therapists and I ask them questions about themselves. No, <laughs> just joking, they're probably therapists for me more like. And my sparkly blankets. Look. I'm a bit of a unicorn, so anything sparkly I like. Um, yeah, need a snuggie. <laughs> Would I rather be the most funny person in the room or the most intelligent? I think I'd rather be the most intelligent. I have a secret talent. I can turn my tongue up to down. I love Stevie Wonder. He's my, that was my first album that I ever bought. I actually stole it from the library. So it was like my first ever CD. And, um, and I never took it back, I never brought it back. Definitely Stevie Wonder influenced me and it was an amazing moment when I got to sing with him. Uh, we were at a huge award show and I got to walk out with him and uh, we sang a song together, which is really so special. It would be Lauren Hill. And my favorite band is The Roots. I love The Roots. I'm actually a fan, a proper fan. Like, I say silly things. Whenever I see Questlove, I, I don't really know what to say and I get to say embarrassing things. Well, Andy Grammer always plays uh, practical jokes on me. So sometimes, like, he, he um, one time I was doing an interview and he was actually sitting behind the chair and he, like, waited until I was really not prepared and he boo, he did like a huge boo on me and it freaked me out. So I think if I was a ghost, I'd probably haunt him. I think the hardest thing that ever happened on tour was when I first started and I had to do um, a different state every day of going to radio stations and I did it for six months and I think it was just like, it, it, it was like, it was so hard work, like I, I almost couldn't keep my eyes open, I, I didn't get enough sleep and stuff. So that was definitely like the hardest tour I ever did, but it really did kind of lay the foundations for what I'm doing. The best, oh, actually the other part that was hard is that I had huge hits all over Europe. Um, like my, I had like two really big songs, so actually big all over the world, but they hadn't been released in America yet. So I, um, I came to America and I, I was like a brand new artist. So I went from singing to thousands and thousands of people to being in America who nobody knew who I was. So that was definitely like the most humbling experience of my life because to go from everyone treating you like, ah, oh, you're amazing, and then suddenly you're like, you know, um, you know, people let you know that you're a nobody again, and you have to kind of like, hey, <laughs> you know, and 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 it, nobody's, no one is a nobody, nobody is a nobody. So it's like it gives you a chance to kind of work on yourself and kind of know who you are, and and know that you're somebody. 